everyone, this is Gail from Pretty Presets and today I wanted to share with you a little bit about a new feature that was introduced in Lightroom 6 and Lightroom Creative Cloud. And I've talked about this feature a little bit when we did a post on the blog and also in other videos, but today I wanted to give it its own video because I think it's super helpful and really can save you a lot of time and, and hassle in editing. So. This feature is the brush tool that's found in the graduated filter and in the radial filter. So you can click on either one of them. And up here you'll see that there's this mask um, word, <laughs> I guess. And next to it we have new edit and brush. So I'm going to access the brush, this new brush tool, right here by clicking on brush. Now I don't have any of these tools on my photo, so I'm going to add some. And then we're going to play around with how to add and subtract from your radial filters and your graduated filters with the brush tool. So let's come over here to our photo. Um, the first, I'm going to add two presets to this photo, two presets from the Luminous collection. I'm going to lay layer them. And the first one that I'm going to add is Pink Sun Right. Okay. And it will take a second because my computer's got a lot going on today. But here we go. I really like the pinkness of this um, color that it adds. The one thing that I don't love about this, though, is that it, I think it adds a little bit too much pink to his hair. Where his hair is already red, I think it adds a little bit too much. So we're going to erase some of this preset from his hair. And then the other thing that I wish is that it had a little bit more on her skin over here. So we're going to add it to her skin over in this area. I'm going to click on this pin. I've got my graduated filter selected and this is a preset that uses graduated filters. So I've got my graduated filter selected. I'm clicking on this one. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose the brush tool right here. Now you'll see I get a few more options down here. So if I want to remove some of this effect from his hair, I'm going to click on erase. I've got my mask about 50% or at around 50 here. And you'll notice in my circle here, I've got a minus. Okay, that tells me I'm going to be subtracting from, from this preset. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to brush on his hair a little bit. Make my brush a little bit bigger using the right bracket key. And you'll see how the green from my overlay is being just, it's being subtracted here. And I'm starting to see the red of his hair back a little bit. Okay, and if I tap O, I can remove this overlay, and if I want to get it back, I can just type, tap O again, and it will go back and forth for me. My overlay is green, yours might be a different color. So I think maybe also I'm getting a little bit of pinkish purple from this pin as well. So I'm going to come up here, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'll put my overlay back on so you can kind of see as it leaves. I'm just on the top part up here where I think it's got too much. I'm going to erase. Okay, so if I want to add it a little bit to her, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the A or B. A or B, it's both going to be adding. You can just set up two different types of brushes in your A and B if you want. I'm going to increase this brush even a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to start painting on her. And because I've got my overlay selected, she's going to turn a little green. But really, we're adding just a little bit more of that pink hue to her. If I take off my overlay, you can kind of see that we added a little bit more pinkness here to her. Okay, so I'm going to apply another of preset from the Luminous Collection. And I know that this one's going to be a radial filter. That's the reason I can layer them, because they're not both graduated filters and they're not both radial filters. And you might ask, how do I know that? Well, I know that from just playing around with these presets. So it's always good to play around with your presets and get to know them. But I also know because I've clicked up here on these filters to figure out which kind they are. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose Hazy Flare Left. Okay. And you'll see that my photo changed, but my pins didn't go away. My um, graduated filter pins didn't go away. But if I come over here and click on the radial filter, you'll see that I got a whole bunch of new pins over here. 
So um, I'm just going to click on any one of these pins, really. Um, you can click around and, and choose and see what, what they're doing. But I'm going to add a little bit more of this to her, okay? So I'm going to go over here and choose my brush tool once again. I've got my flow set to about 50% here, and I want to add, so I'm choosing either the A or B brush, and I'm just going to brush on her. I don't have my overlay selected, so she's not going to turn green as I do this. If I wanted to see it more, I can choose my overlay by tapping the O key or coming down here and checking this box. Now, I'm about done with this photo. I want to do one more thing really quick, and I want to add a regular brush. So I'm not going to use the brush that's in my graduated filter or my radial filter. I'm going to actually select the brush tool. I'm going to choose the Add Warmth brush from the Perfect Portrait brush collection, and I'm just going to add a little bit more warmth to her. I'm just going to brush on this warmth to her. And my flow is at 50%, so I'm going to have to do it a little bit. And really, I think that about there is perfect. Now, um, I'm going to tap the Done key here. I'm going to show you a before and after. So you can see kind of how we've changed this photo. If you want to change the color of your overlay, this is something that I said I was going to show. If you come up here to Tools, and you choose Tool, oh, not Tool Overlay. I want Adjustment Mask Overlay. And you'll have options here to select what color it is. I need to have that tool selected so I can change the color, but your options are red, green, white, or black. And I usually use either red or green. I find them to be the most obtrusive, which is usually what I want when I want to see where I'm brushing. So anyway, I hope this helps you use that new feature in Lightroom 6 and Lightroom Creative Cloud. It's super helpful, and I really did a little cheer of joy when I saw that they were adding that. Have a wonderful day.